Yeah. And then there's also one right here. So C1, the very top bone right there. Mm -hmm. And then maybe lower that shoulder nice and low. Perfect. Oh wow, that felt so good. There we go. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Crack Addicts YouTube channel, home to chiropractic media. Now in today's video, we've got another big chiropractic adjustment video featuring lots of chiropractors, all your favorite ones. All of the links to the chiropractors will have links in the description to their channel if you want to check them out that's where you can do that or if you want to contact them for treatment that's the way to go now for the upload schedule on this channel i'm going to be posting videos every single day so everyone's got fresh content every single day to watch now i'm going to be posting the content at 8 15 that will be usa time and for everyone who's in London, that will be around 1.15 p.m. But that's pretty, pretty much it for today's video, guys and girls. So if you do enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Next up, we have Dr. Scott Mitchell and Dr. Matt Delgado. Uh, so let me have you go face down to start, please. Perfect. Good, just like that. And then remember, you got the easy job. All you gotta do is be nice and relaxed and breathe down into your diaphragm. So one of the first things we notice when we come down here and check your leg length, and make sure, yeah, is that it's shorter on that right leg by about a half inch right now. But when I come up like this, it actually gets even. Are you able to see it from that angle? Yeah, nice and even. And then when I go like this and bring her heels towards her butt, the right leg definitely goes closer than the left one. And she was even saying she can feel the right one touch, but the left one doesn't. So what this is letting me know, oh, also, what she was saying with her pelvis being in pain is that she feels the pain mostly on that right side, right inside here. So what this is letting me know is that the pelvis is rocked backwards on that right side, and that the sacrum right here, this triangle bone, is pushed backwards on this left side. So all we gotta do is a quick little adjustment to be able to fix that. So let me have you lay on your side facing me this way, please. Oh, uh, can you tell the camera that you are a self cracker too? Oh yeah, I'm a self then... Do you want me to crack right now? No, 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 okay. don't leave me <laughs> Absolutely not. No. We're trying to fix that. <laughs> it feels so good. Is this okay? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put you in the right position. Okay. But during our chit chat and we were doing different uh, talking about this and that, she just looks at me and goes <laughs> 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 I've only had that happen one time in my office where someone looks at me and just cracks their neck. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's so normal for me. <laughs> but so see, it again, it's because it feels normal because we want to be able to find out exactly where it's stuck. So in this case, it's right here in the right part of the pelvis. So this is just the best position to help free up those three bones that make up the pelvis. So this way, all I do is I roll you over and I just push it back to where it needs to go. Okay. Right in here. And this is the one that's been there for 27 years. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Just like What? That. Have you ever done that crack before? No! Mm -mm. Oh my god. Can you tell the camera if that hurt? The, no, it didn't hurt at all. Did it feel like it was a spot that just needed to go? Yeah, and I also kind of felt it go up my spine a little bit. Like it felt more like mid back, which probably takes like a lot of pressure oh, yeah. every day to compensate for that oh, misalignment. The perfect person <laughs> to have come in. <laughs> so we bend this one. So that was for the right ilium. This one's now for the left sacrum. Right here, on the left part of the sacrum. Yes, I got it right on here. Perfect, right there. Yeah. Oh my god. Better? That felt so good. <laughs> Beautiful. I am addicted to this. Let me have you go face down again. We can double check to see if we made a difference. Okay. Wait, I've never cracked like that ever. Yeah, see, that's an area. So those are called your SI joints. Mm -hmm. SI joint stands for sacroiliac joint. So where those three bones come together, mm -hmm. every time people crack their low back, 
they're trying to crack this area for the most, well, not every time, but the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. They're trying to crack this area and say here, mm -hmm. but they end up cracking here or here or here or here. Yeah. This way of adjusting is so important because it actually adjusts the SI joints right inside here correctly. And then we come down here and legs are perfectly even. Staying even. And then let me know if that already feels a little bit different when I go like this. Yeah, I feel like my left can get closer. Mm -hmm. And I feel like my right isn't overcompensating as much. Look at that. Overcompensation. She knows she knows all the big words. <laughs> she never been adjusted. I was like, oh, we're gonna get along. Perfect. And one of the things that we noticed too is that as you were as we were standing and leaning your body backwards, remember your right shoulder started to go up with it as well? Yeah. So let's let me know right inside here. Misalignment. So let me have you turn over onto your back, please. And what I want you to do is give yourself a nice big hug like this. So I'm talking big hug, like you really love like yourself. This. There you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll you over this way. Find an area right inside here between your shoulder blades. Good. It's time we take a big breath in. And let it all the way out. I'm just gonna roll you back. Tuck your chin a little bit. Oh wow. There we go. That felt great. Yes, that's from sitting. That's from head going forward. That that's an air. Remember we we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah, I feel tension on the right. Yes, yeah, so that's the second top bone in your neck, right there. That's why I was asking you if you get headaches, because often if that's out of alignment, people experience a lot of headaches. Oh, okay. So it's good that you don't. But what I'm gonna do is how much did we say your head weighs? Nine pounds. Yeah. If you guys want to find out how much your head weighs, come into the office and I'll let you know. I have an app that tells me. I'm gonna leave your head right there, perfect. And that's why I find that exact bone. I'm gonna leave your head right about there. Oh wow. Good. So that was that C2 bone. Beautiful. And I had to bring her head over just a little bit extra too because she's a self neck popper, meaning that her neck is very flexible. And then maybe lower that shoulder nice and low, perfect. Oh wow, that felt so good. There we go. So she's always cracking the left side of her neck. And the thing is that she's always cracking the middle of her left neck, trying to crack the top of her left neck. That is an adjustment right at C1 to be able to actually get that movement that she's been wanting for so long. So let's actually double check the range of motion to see if we made a change. Okay. So let me have you sit all the way up for me and turn your face out. Oh, and then have you look down on the ground. Then while you're looking down, let's have you turn all the way to the left. Beautiful. And then turn all the way to the right. Oh, oh my God. Ooh. Do you know there was a wall right there? <laughs> Before, it felt like I could look to the left perfectly fine, but to the right, it was definitely strained, almost as if like I was stuck. Like my body like physically could not move anymore. And now it just feels like it has like a gateway to actually move. Like it feels like no more tension, just like an alleviation that I've been waiting like 20 something years yeah. for. <laughs> um, it's just wild. I never thought my head could move that way. I thought that's just how I was. And I thought this entire time it was tight muscles, but it's clearly not. <laughs> Up next, we have Dr. Joseph Cipriano. Take a deep breath in and out. One more time, deep breath in and out. Good. Keep your thighs to the table for me. Side. On your side, I'm um, facing this way. Okay. And then flip to the other side. There we go. 
and then lay on your back for me, please. From here, <clears throat> I just want you to relax your legs. I'm going to do those leg pulls. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Deep breath in and out. If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.